Well, we begin with breaking news from Libya, where pro-government forces say they've taken control of Daesh's headquarters in their stronghold of Sirte. Let's speak to our correspondent Duncan Crawford, who joins me from our Istanbul news centre. And uh, Duncan, this is uh, uh, amazing progress, and this will have been done with the help of US airstrikes. What are you hearing? Yeah, you're quite right. Since August 1st, uh, the Pentagon have confirmed that they've been involved in a number of airstrikes involving jets and also drone strikes as well. Insert in the CERT area to take on Daesh militants. Those strikes going on for the last week while ground forces have been moving into the city to try and remove the city of militants. What we're hearing now is information coming to us from the government of national accord in Libya. That's the UN-backed government in Libya saying that their forces have taken control of Daesh's headquarters in the city. That is at the Wagadogo Centre, saying that it is now in their forces' hands. A spokesman for the forces saying that Daesh, though, remains still uh, in three residential areas of the city and in a villa complex near the seafront. Uh, Sirte, of course, in the northwest of Libya, on the Mediterranean Sea, just by the coast, very close to the Tunisian border. And there has been concern for a very long time now amongst Western governments about this area being used by Daesh to recruit and to radicalise people to launch attacks uh, within Libya and in other countries as well. Yeah, and I guess the question will be, you know, how far are pro-government forces from liberating the rest of CERT and what that will mean for the stability of Libya, a country which is very volatile uh, politically as well as, as, well as security-wise? Yeah, you're entirely right. And obviously, ever since the overthrow of Colonel Gaddafi back in 2011, Libya really has been a bit of a mess and it hasn't been seen to look like it's improving any time soon. Uh, what we think is happening at the moment, according to the uh, Government of National Accord forces, is that they are moving into the city. There are fierce gun battles, though, with Daesh militants. And like I said before, there are still Daesh militants controlling parts of the city still. So for the local residents living there, they are living in a war zone at the moment. You've got airstrikes going on as well. And uh, it's not clear how long the ongoing military operations are going to take. Duncan, thank you for that. Duncan Crawford bringing us up to date with breaking news coming to us from CERT in Libya there.